So this last video here will show you real quick how you can change the settings of the virtual machine. You can do this only if the machine is powered off. You can think of it like this real computer is powered off and you change the hardware for example, right? You remove some or you add some main memory, you add a CD drive, whatever, right? You can only do this when it's turned off. You click on settings and there you will find the different settings um, to, that you can manipulate. Importantly is typically how much main memory you have available. And in my machine I have 16 gigabyte. I can, you know, decide how much memory I want to give to this virtual computer. Um, 4 gigabyte is typically quite good for this Linux machine, but um, you can also go down to 2 gigabytes depending on what you have. Some of you um, depending on your real existing hardware, may have to change this processor setting over here in system and may remove this little tick here to enable physical um, address extensions, which is something that processor provides. Um, it may not in your case, so you have to remove it. You can also change how much, pro how many processors the system will have available. Two is a good number and there are many more options, how much video memory, what graphics hardware is available. All of these have basically save, same defaults, but you may have to change them or may want to change them to give the machine more or less resources, right? It comes also with a virtual USB controller to give you the opportunity to really connect USB devices. And again, you can choose, you know, what kind of USB controller you like. With that, um, just let me conclude. Virtual me machines are really flexible and they are behave a little bit like real computers. It's, it will be not easy for you to initially um, understand and distinguish between this host system and this virtual machine. But as long as you think of it as a real computer, I believe you will succeed. And if you have further questions, um, please, um, talk to us or add some annotations to our shared Google Doc. Thank you and I wish you success.